In my last video, I made these characters from the Amazing Digital Circus out of Lego, but I forgot a few characters, so in this video, I'm gonna make them. Starting with the Gloink Queen. I'm sure I have enough red and blue pieces, but do I have enough eyes? The Gloink Queen has a lot of eyes. And there we have it, the Gloink Queen. And there's the yellow spots, just like in the episode. But a gloink is not a queen without her servants. Now it's time for me to build the gloinks. And I have the perfect idea of how to build them. Hey, maybe they're simple, but they're not wrong. I mean, we got the green square, we got the yellow circle, we got the green bowling pin, the purple moon, and even the red triangle. Come on, that's pretty funny. Oh, all right, I'll make them better, jeez. There's the green square. See, that's a bit better. It's got a bit more details. Now for the yellow circle. Do you think this red piece captures his smile? Now the red triangle. See, that's a bit better. All right, I admit it is a bit better than this piece. For the moon shape, I'm gonna do something a bit different. Hey, that one's pretty cool. Oh, sorry, he looks this way. <laughs> now, the star is a really complicated shape. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one. What do you think? Does it look like a star? I built a couple more, and now we have a whole glowing army, fitting for a queen. In my last video, I built Kane, because he's my favorite. And it turns out, he was a lot of other people's favorite as well. So I'm gonna build him again, but bigger and better. There's his body, and his arms, and legs, and his white gloves, and there's his body. Hmm, pretty cool. It's even got his coattails. But he still needs these buttons on his shirt. And now his cute little bow tie. Hmm, that looks pretty good. I've put his head on a spinning piece so that it can move independently of his body. And I'll connect his head with this transparent piece so that his head is floating above his body, just like the real thing. And here's his head. On it goes. And for the finishing touches, I'll give him his top hat and a stick. Amazing! And there is our complete cane. What do you think? Welcome to the amazing digital circus! Where everything's amazing and Lego! Let's compare Tiny Cane to Giant Cane. Tiny Cane has his two eyes and six teeth. Giant Cane has two eyes and uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14 teeth. Yeah, I think Giant Cane wins here. Tiny Cane has a little stick, but Giant Cane's stick has a golden piece on the top, just like the real cane. Another point for Giant Cane. Well, which one do you prefer, Tiny or Giant? Personally, I think I'm gonna have to call it Giant. No! Next, we're gonna build Kofmo. I'm gonna build him both before and after he abstracted, so watch to the end to see that. First, I'll build him before he abstracted. He's got a yellow body and legs, a white head with a blue ruffle, and this yellow and blue hat. And let's not forget his white gloves. Now it's time to paint on the details. I'm gonna use a paper clip to apply the paint. He has black eyes, and a red smile. He also has red buttons on his shirt. And he has a tiny black dot above and below his eyes. And there, perfect. He just, aw oh man. Looks like I've smudged up his buttons. That's not perfect. Here, let me fix that real quick. There, it's Kofmo from the Amazing Digital Circus. He looks perfect. But this is only before he abstracted. 
Let's build him after he abstracted. These are all the pieces I'm gonna use to build him. Yeah, that's a lot, but watch how I do it. Now he just needs his eyes on these little dots. So we'll do that next. And there, perfect. That looks scary, like he could just... What about the sun and the moon? They were only in one scene, but hey, they're still characters, so I'm gonna build them. There is actually a moon piece, but it's not the right kind of moon, so I won't be able to use it. But it does glow in the dark, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, here they are. Huh, something about it just doesn't look very alive. Okay, I'll try that again. For the sun, I'll add a couple of big googly eyes, and these red pieces will make his smile. There, that's pretty cool. And for the moon, I built this. It just needs one eye. That's a much better sun and moon, isn't it? In my last video, I built a Lego Jax, but it didn't turn out that well. Yeah, it was pretty terrible. So I'm gonna try building him again, this time with a custom headpiece. All I've got to do now is paint on his face. I gotta be very delicate. I do not want this one to turn out like the last one. There. And now a small line for his pupil. My hands are so shaky, I need to do this carefully. And there! I think this Jax is a lot better. Something about him feels more natural. Well, it's a low bar. The original was pretty horrifying. Anyway, now I've finally built enough characters to make a recreation of the intro to the show. So I'm gonna do that now. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the show. Well, which was your favorite build from the Amazing Digital Circus? Was it Giant Kane? Quothmo? The Glow in the Dark Moon? The Gloink Queen? Or even the Gloinks themselves? Or was it the Moon and the Sun? My favorite would be Giant Kane. I just love the way he's posable. I mean, look at him. What's not to love? Oh! No! Kane! <laughs> 